Hi, I'm Ricky Frank. I'm an enamelist. I'm here at Creative Side Jewelry Academy of Austin, teaching an enameling class, and I thought I'd give you a few tips on how I make my transparent colors so beautifully clear and blended together. Most enamelists will use what's called 80 mesh enamel, and it's pre-ground enamel, and it looks like flour. It's got lots of fine grains in it, and when you have lots of fine grains in your enamel, you end up getting lots of air bubbles around each grain. So the more small grains you have, the more air bubbles you're gonna have and the cloudy your enamel is gonna look. So the solution for removing as many of the air bubbles as you can is to use bigger chunks of glass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with some bigger chunks and it's called lump enamel. And with the lump enamel, I've gotta grind it up in a mortar and pestle. I've got a little bit of water in that I poured. This is some distilled water. I'm here in Austin and when we did some testing earlier on the enamel, we found that the minerals and salts in the water system discolored the enamel slightly. So I've decided to use a little bit of the distilled water just to make sure. I live in Georgia and I don't have a problem with my water. So it depends on where you live. You need to do a little bit of testing to see if the water creates cloudiness. I'm going to put a few grains of my enamel in there. It looks kind of like a broken windshield, but enamel really isn't the same type of glass as a windshield. Enamel is formulated to be able to bond with metal so that when the metal's heated, the enamel won't just pop right off. So a little bit of tapping. You don't have to hit it hard, and it's breaking it up. And you can see there's a little bit of cloudiness, and that's the fine grains. And now I'm gonna take the pestle by hand, and again, you don't need a lot of strength. So you can see the cloudiness, and those are the fine grains of color in the water. So we're gonna get this into our cup. So what I'm gonna do is pour this out, and I'm gonna use this water bottle to rinse it. And now I've got the fine grains sitting on the bottom here, really the bigger grains, and the fine grains in solution. Now I can pour this water out like that, and I've got the big grains sitting on the bottom. So let's go ahead and put a little bit more water. And I just want to rinse that until the fine grains are out and the water is clear. And that's going to give me this great, great clarity of color because I'm using the bigger grains. And I can't buy these in a jar like this. I've got to make these myself. And as you can see, it really didn't take much time. It's really easy to do. And it allows me to control the grain size, which lets me have many more options when I'm working with enamel. So thanks for watching. Hope it's helped you some. Bye-bye.